Now, as regards Keefley, from what we're hearing, it's uh, it's a, a strong suggestion that they are waiting for the right moment to bring him back. He is apparently cleared and ready to return. They didn't want to bring him back in the middle of an Umberto Carrillo storyline, which I did speak about a week or two ago. Now, at this point, they are waiting for the right moment and creative are pitching several storylines. This may mean that they've moved on from the idea of having Keith Lee as United States champion because the obvious plan after WrestleMania was to bring Keith Lee back and put him straight against Sheamus. That was the intention. That's why the entire Umberto Carrillo storyline could have been abandoned pretty much at any point, and they certainly considered that at several times. The fact that they're not sure anymore is good news for Ricochet, who the WWE have been struggling to find a place for recently, but now seem like they have found some way to use him. The idea being that he can certainly continue in this United um, States Championship storyline. He's certainly in the right position for it. And the idea from Backlash, or at least the pre-show, was to continue that particular feud, which is why after losing the match, Ricochet attacked Sheamus from behind. It's an ambivalent finish, meaning that they leave an open door to go elsewhere if they decide to do that, but they don't have to. They do always have the option of just continuing down that same road to Keith Lee versus Sheamus and abandoning Ricochet, or they can go on for another month or so into Hell in a Cell, which once again, I don't think they will make the pay-per-view.